What's up Hoopers, it's Coach Alex from Think Pro Basketball and in today's video we're going to go over how to shoot the basketball perfectly from the mid-range. Let's get started. Alright guys, well like I said, we're going to go over how to shoot the basketball better from the mid-range area. We're going to work and talk about it off the catch, and we're going to work and talk about it off of the dribble. Alright, so let's dive right into it, let's get started, and the first thing I want to talk about is off the catch. Okay, here's a couple of things that you need to be thinking about anytime you're shooting the basketball in the mid-range and you're coming off of the catch. And when I say off the catch, whether you're spotting up, right, you're just waiting for that pass to come to you, you catch and shoot, whether you're running off of a screen, okay moving with within the offense things of that nature so let's just say i always love to use the curl shooting drill as an example because you're getting a screen you're moving and you're catching the ball so let's just say we spin the ball out to ourselves here now to shoot the basketball perfectly there's some things that go into it always want to show your hands because where you show your hands that's where you that means you want the basketball so if i was to come off the screen and i put my hands here that means that's where i want my passer to throw me the ball here because I feel like that's where I can get the ball off and create the best shot for myself, right? If I come off and I show it here, that means I like the ball to start up down low so I can bring it up into a rhythm shot, okay? So always show your hands when you're shooting the basketball no matter where you are on the court, all right? Another thing you gotta think about is your footwork, preparing your feet, okay? So if I'm coming over here and I'm getting my shot, I gotta work on my footwork. At a young age, you're always taught to when you catch, you know, you do your little jump stop to help you get that, pow that power underneath you and to gather that power to shoot the basketball. As you get older and you're trying to create, you know, some tempo and some speed release into your jump shot, you want to make sure you're going into a one-two footwork. So whether it be, you know, you catch and you're one-two or you're catching, you're going inside footwork. Okay, so what I'm saying is if I'm coming off here and I get my catch, when I catch it, I'm going one foot on that inside foot and then that second foot's dragging behind to shoot the basketball. It could be an outside foot, right, where you catch, you plant, and you push off to that next foot. So your footwork is important to help you shoot the basketball perfectly in the mid-range area. Another thing you have to think about is getting your shoulder squared to the basket. So if I'm coming off a screen, I gotta get here, and I've gotta get my shoulders turned to the hoop in order to create a great shot for myself, okay? You don't wanna catch the ball, and you don't wanna be shoulder squared to the sideline with the hoop here. Whatever you're doing, running off of a screen, moving within the offense, spotting up, it doesn't matter. You wanna catch and get your shoulders around, squared to the basket so you can shoot an accurate jump shot. All right, so we've got to get our hands, we've got to show our hands and where we want the basketball to put ourselves in the best position possible, where we're most comfortable to shoot the ball. We got to get our footwork right, and we have to get our shoulders around when we shoot. Another thing, the last thing is your release, obviously. Right, when we're here, boom. We want to make sure that our arm extension is up and in the air. We want to get that arm extension up in the air so we're getting good arc on the shot to shoot the basketball and to knock it down. All right, and one more thing to think about, when I'm saying feet as well, your legs come into it. So that plays a part. You wanna get good lift on your shot. We don't wanna catch and shoot the ball flat, okay? We wanna come off these screens. We wanna get good lift, because that helps our rhythm into our mid-range jump shot. It's all the same, okay? So put your footwork into it, get your legs underneath you, get your shoulders squared, show your hands, and make sure your arm extension on your release is on point to give yourself the best chance to score in the mid-range area. All right, so before we move on to talking about shooting the ball off the dribble in the mid-range, I'm gonna give you a couple of drills to work on off the catch in the mid-range. And the first thing we're going to do is just a simple spot up, okay? So what I want you to do is start in the corners. You're gonna do this in the corners, and you're gonna face away from the basket. You're gonna put your shoulders towards half court, and all we're gonna do is spin the ball out to ourselves, drop our foot that's closest to the hoop, right? So we wanna drop our foot closest to the hoop so we can square our shoulders and get them towards the basket. All right, so if I'm here, I'm acting as if I'm getting the ball swung to me, so it's swung, it's swung, now it's coming to me where I'm spotting up in the mid-range. I spin it to myself, I drop that foot, so I catch, drop, one, two, I get good lift, my release is good, my shoulders are square, my feet are set, I rise up and I knock it down. We're just gonna work on this drill in the corners so you're forced to get your shoulders squared to the basket, okay? This is a spot up corner shooting drill in the mid range in full speed. All 
All right, again, like I said, I love to work on the curl shooting drill. I just think it's a great drill to help work with your footwork, whether you're working on your inside footwork or your outside, whether you're trying to focus on getting your shoulders squared, you know, coming around, showing your hands, things of that nature. So what we're gonna do, all we're gonna do is we're gonna spin the ball out to ourselves, act as if we're curling around, get our, our feet set, our shoulders squared on our release right. Okay, so again, you're gonna work on both sides of the court when you're doing this. Okay, so we just wanna spin out, curl, one, two, catch, shoot, bang. Here it is in full speed. Hoopers, well, we're gonna move on to off the dribble shooting in the mid range. And the same things apply of what we just talked about when off of the catch, making sure that our footwork is correct, making sure our legs are underneath us, making sure we're showing our hands. Well, not really showing your hands now because you have the ball in your hands. Number three, we wanna get our shoulders turned towards the basket and we wanna get our release point on point, right? Get that extension, all right? So again, I wanna work on this, the curl shooting. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna throw the ball out. We're gonna catch it, right? Now when we use a dribble, or anytime we use a dribble in a mid-range area, this is our opportunity that we're using the dribble to create rhythm into our shot. Okay, so we're here, we take that bounce, and we shoot, right? It could be in an isolation, right? Where I dribble into it, boom, right? Into a pull-up jump shot, okay? It could be on what we just worked on where you're in a stationary position. You catch, you turn, you take one dribble, and you shoot, okay? But everything applies. You have to make sure your footwork is still great. You have to make sure that your legs are underneath you, that your shoulders are square, that your release is great, right? To be a great shooter. And like I said, use that dribble as a point of reference to help you rhythm into your jump shot. Use that dribble to create the rhythm you need to get everything underneath you to give it your best shot possible, okay? So next we're gonna talk about two drills and they're gonna be very similar to the ones that you've already seen, but now we're gonna add dribbling into them, okay? I want you to be a great shooter off the catch and a great shooter off the dribble in the mid-range area. So let's talk about those couple of drills right now. All right, so we're gonna do the same type of thing with the curl shooting, but now when we curl shoot, we're gonna curl, right, like we have been, work on our footwork, our inside footwork, we're gonna catch. Now we wanna to get to that opposite elbow. We wanna escape from this defender behind us. So we wanna take one, probably two dribbles to get over here to now, right? So what we gotta really focus on is when we get here, we're going this way. So our shoulders are squared towards the sideline. So that means we go one, we gotta go two. Now when we get here, look at my feet. We get here, we gotta get our feet turned. We gotta get our legs and our body turned towards the rim to give it a great opportunity to go in, okay? So we're curling, throwing that ball out in front unless you got somebody to pass to you. We want to catch, we want to extend out, one, two, boom. Got me? So now the same things apply. Here's the footwork on this. When we're coming off here and we know we're going to dribble, so we're going to catch. So instead of going here, right, we're going to catch and we're going to extend off of this left foot, one, two. Now when we go into our shot, it's still one, two, off that inside foot. So that inside foot's the first step. This outside foot's our second. We'll rise up and we'll shoot it. All right, so this is the curl shooting drill with a dribble in full speed. All right, Hoopers, again, we're gonna do something similar to the first drills that you saw. All right, so again, we're working on both corners. We're in that stationary position. Now we're gonna throw it to ourselves again. We wanna drop that foot. Now we're gonna take a dribble, one. Now we're in that little close mid-range area, okay? If you want, back up towards the three-point line. So now when you catch it, it's a quick rip. One, two, right into your shot. You're working on both sides, okay? So now, on the first one we just caught, one drop, two, into our shot. 
Now we're going to catch, drop that foot, rip it, one, boom, right into our jump shot. Full speed coming at you live now. All right, Hooper's another great video in the books. Again, that was all about how to shoot better in the mid-range off of the dribble and off of the catch. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment as well. Most importantly, join Think Pro Basketball as we're providing you professional level training resources that are easy to follow as we deliver and give you the best opportunity to provide your practice skills into real game situations. So make sure you head over and check out our channel, check out all the great content we have designed specifically to help you improve your game and take it to the next level so you can become the best player that you want to be. Now, until I see you again next time, hit the gym, hit the court. Don't be sitting in a chair like me, but get out there and put that work in. Become a better shooter in the mid-range, and remember to always keep hooping.